Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 111 of my Elden Ring playthrough. We have a catacomb to explore, and then once we've done that, we have a hero's grave to explore. Um, I'm fairly happy with my equipped spells, but let us make preparations in case those who live in death are found in here. Nice, easy entrance. Kind of um, jars. It looks like jars. Um, in which case, a we would actually be better off. We don't have one that's upgraded. Uh, we would actually be better off um, with a. Um, A striking weapon. But we'll make do with this. Uh, what did I come in here for? I came in here to get us light. Break your poise, which means if we can't destroy them. Hmm. Ow, okay, gold tops are dangerous. We're not gonna get back attacks on these things, there's no point we change it over to that. Um uh, yeah, let's keep that for now. You know the red top. We may have to use a bunch of our, um... That doesn't look like a safe drop. We'll remember that, but we won't use that for now. Um, we may have to use a bunch of our consumables. I don't know if Volcano Pot's going to work particularly well. Well, we must go into the mist. It may be the only way in, but we need to make sure we are prepared. Help us at max? Help us at max. Okay, take me. I'm hoping it's just going to take me deeper in. Yeah, deeper in, that's fine. And now we have to fight our way out. There's a lever. Did I forget to grab the one that was in the main entrance?
No, trick of the light. It looked like I could see through something. Uh, we're not going to get around the back of these things, so let's just try to make sure we don't lose too many of our bots. These are all fives and things. We need eights, I think. Hello, crab. Oh, there's actually water being dropped from above, but nonetheless, there's going to be a crab in here. I can't see any slimes above us. But just because I can't see any doesn't mean that there isn't any. Hear it wandering about up there. I want to encourage it to drop down. Okay, it's lost track of us. That's fine. This doesn't look natural. Um. There's a chest up there. That wasn't what I wanted to do. That was a waste of a pot. Too many of these are getting to jump on me. I don't trust that wall. At all. I see you. I can't lock onto you, so I can't fire at you. It's not fair. That is sure I can't throw in that kind of art. But that does work. Effective. Good to know. Let's make more of those. Because that was our last one. Um, volcano pots. Health. Fine. Mana. Fine. Health pots. Concerning. Okay. So that's a trap. How does this trap work? I don't trust that wall, I don't trust that chest. It's Dark Souls, we don't trust anything. There's a limit to how far you can go, right? The second you take damage, basically. Okay, no, you have to take fire damage.
Okay. So it's one of these. Uh, this is obviously the way we're supposed to go. Let's see where this one takes us. I'll have to try and remember that we've got to come back to see where the other one takes us. Maybe this one takes us out. Maybe it takes us higher. Oh. You're dead. We killed you. Going through the ensnare strap has respawned everything. Rooms. we need to get up here. Is there a way? Is we wasn't locked out of walking back this way. So this does not make a whole lot of sense. Why here? Why a hidden room that takes us to here? But it respawns everything. So what use is it? We did get an item from up there, but... Oh wait, or does it respawn everything? Where's it gone? Hmm. So you can go that way to kill those things? Oh no, big jars. My bigger concern is like my dwindling supply of health pots. Perfume is cookbook. Cracked pot. Worth coming in here. Let's open this. Oh no, um. There's usually a lever that opens this. We can't open it manually. Taking us back here.
Captain's Lynn. Okay, so there must be a reason to be up here. Is this not the same room? That's a possibility. Two identically laid out rooms. It is. This is a different area. We definitely collected that already. Trixie. Park isn't going to do it for us, but we'll use it anyway. That's blood. Do we have a fire one? We don't. Iron Jar uses FP to temporarily turn the wielder's body to steel. That actually might be better than um, this. Or oh, more likely, it may be more um, bumble. Took us a few attempts to get it. You. Are not as dead as I thought you was. Okay. So now we know the trick. Let's go back this way. Uh, health is okay, keep that on us. Mana's okay. When we get to the boss room, we will have the opportunity to fully charge. explosive guys down here they're not in this one but I'm still expecting there to be something in here uh, let's try this one first because we know where it in theory goes
Okay, this is doubled as back. This is the original one. There we go. Um, no, we want to see what's in that room in the other direction. So, thankfully... These do just cycle back and forth. So we use this to come back to here. They don't look like explosive jars, but they may be yellow explosive jars. Ladder? That wasn't in the other one, was it? So which ladder is the way out and which ladder... I think the other ladder is the way we get to the lever. So this one may be the way out. Oh no, this is to the lever. We can't get out from here. Which means the other way must be the way out. Team Rocket Pokemon Dungeon. You remember those when you got to their headquarters? They always had teleportation mazes in them. This must bring us out above the, um, or somewhere above the uh, original entranceway. Because we didn't see an illusionary wall. Oh, it's going to teleport us back. This would be a really, really sneaky and nasty place. To put another kind of, or some kind of trap or enemy. Okay, are we back at the beginning? I think we're back at the beginning. Yeah, and there's one part of the maze. Okay. Boss time. Not boss time. Time for him. Okay, so this is still part of the maze. Uh, 
I don't think illusionary walls can have ornaments on them. A ladder. So I think this did send us back to the same place. It's just this hasn't sent us back to the start. It just tried to make us think that it had. I was wondering where the um, remains of the pots were. I really don't think we can make that jump. I'm sure that's death. Can we make a hop into there? Without going over? Okay, so we can make that jump. It's not fatal. Is the original entrance? Not seen any enemies. Seen is that dead enemy? No. That's a dead enemy. So we've definitely been this way before. There's a ladder. And that plant's been gathered, so yeah, this is still part of the same same one. It's not new. I double back, didn't I? Maybe the idea wasn't that you double back, but that you jump off. I don't know, because we've just gone all the way around. We can see enemy down there that we killed. And ladder back in there. We can use that to get back up there in a different area. But why let us jump down? See ladder over there, so yeah, this is back original light place. Hmm, am I missing? Either I'm missing an illusionary wall, or I'm missing a hole, or something. And there's some part of this jigsaw that I'm missing a piece. There's the ladder again. But this is a different area. Did I just not see this ladder the first time? Or is this the same ladder? I'm 
No, no, this ladder's looping around to take us back to... Yeah. This ladder takes us around back to the original area. what I actually just did was a full loop between both areas, just not via the ensnare trap. And then this will take us back to the one that had the ladder up. And this is the one that we want to pay attention to over there. Yeah, there's no ladder in there. So I have to believe that I've missed something on this upper area. Come on, game. Why are you doing this so consistently now? At least you're not crushing the computer. I've got to be thankful for that, but it's fairly consistently just dying. For no apparent reason. Where will my last save have been? It may put us back at the start of the maze. Which is a nuisance just because of having to kill all the enemies again. I don't know when it auto-saved. Um... Hey, okay, my health and mana seems to be around about the point that... I had already cleared out everything that we had found. Let's do something. I'm curious about if there's a little trick with this chest up here. These last an age. Okay. Nope. Okay, that's fine. This has to be the path then. There's got to be something we've missed in this area. Or oh, there is a return chest somewhere that does something funky. So yeah, we've been down there and that's not helpful. This should be the way that we came in, but it's not. Although that said, no, you normally have to set or rest at a bonfire. Yeah, we're still prevented from teleporting. I was wondering whether or not making it to here was enough. So 
so we know we can jump off here and we'll land safely. But is that helpful in any way? Because that's just a similar area to the one we've been in. There must be three areas. Which means we've never been in that room. We've... Yeah, we've not been in that room in the one that has the ladder on it. Because the ladder blocks that walkway. So that's how that connects to here. So the ladder... And then that takes it up another level. The exit is through there. We've used this already, haven't we? There we go. Ninety percent sure this is a new path. Yeah, we're now up here, which I think is where we started. Trixie Dungeon. I like it. Some people are going to absolutely hate that. I fully understand that. But I like little puzzles like this. Really Trixie, though. We are absolutely not going to not have enough time for the um, hero's grave. It's taking us 40 minutes to get through this. Okay. I'm expecting... Watchdog? I think Watchdog. So I think Hawker's response. Assuming we're right. Oh no, it's one of you. That's fine. That's... Play Death Jars. Leave Paul and Etto alone. Good fight. Sold jars of fortune ashes. I 
I gotta find something to do for 10, 20 minutes because, yeah, there's absolutely zero chance. That we can get through that thing in that time. Um, are there any tasks that we can do? I don't think we got any... Uh, we can potentially spend one set of smithing stones, but we didn't get any eights, did we? Uh, grave warts, seven. No, we need grave wart, grave wart eight. Uh, let's have a look at our cookbook. Which perfumes did we get? Uh, am I blind? Here they are. We got four ahead of time. Ah, we got Iron Jar. We could experiment with some weapons or upgrade some. We really should get a striking weapon of some description. Or upgrade a striking weapon of some description. I have a mind to upgrade. I, was it a legendary weapon? I think it was striking. Uh, ah, yeah, it's a um, flail. Yeah, strike. I have a mind to upgrade this, just because the um, actual nebula is extraordinarily powerful. And if I up upgrade this in general, it should be a pretty strong weapon for my build. Because it is dex and int. Uh, yeah, and no, I don't really want to use that. These are all hammers. These are all going to be strength based. Upgrade our bow a little more. Which bow? Where is our bow? It's one of. No, it's not. This one. Horn bow. We could do. It wouldn't be a terrible idea. Give us a little bit more um, options. Can't use any of the really good stuffs yet. But our scaling is now better than the meteorite stuff. Yeah, let's um, upgrade uh, the Bastard Star. E.g., we're going to come to you this time. Because unfortunately, um, I mean, we could go fight him and just try not to kill him. But that's easier said than done. Lady Rani, along the now, Lady. I pray that. Uh, okay. I suppose. No, you don't. Uh, we do have a bunch of souls. So that's fine. This one's really cool as well. Do they both? Is Nebula the same ability on both of them? It is. Yeah. Both of these weapons have the same ability, except this one's slashing. They're still cool weapons, I like them. One, two, that's three, that's four, five, six. Can we bring this one up to six as well? Bring that up to six. Ooh, three left. Bring you up to seven. I'll leave that one at six. We won't bring that any higher. 
Uh, I don't really want to use... If I only have one left. Just in case I find something else I want to... I really want to upgrade. So I think we'll leave that at 7 for now. But that gives us an option when we need a striking weapon. This was the point. Uh, can I sell to you? No. Okay, fair enough. I don't want to kill Blyde. I also don't want to do something that could very easily get me killed. Um, we've still not found our way into here. My thinking was that maybe one of them required us to kill the Dogu, one of us required us to kill one of the dragons. I don't think we have to kill the ringleader. I don't think that's going to be a thing. This will probably get me killed. Really active. Okay, so one of them was demarked by this and was clinging the cliff face. So once you've killed one, it's gone. So... I would not put it past the second great wise beast being... Um, the dog. Although this kind of indicates that there may be one here. Should I be looking for... The turtles? <whistles> Mr. Leans are over there, so we shouldn't come up to them. Am I better off fighting this thing on horseback? As far as I'm concerned, this fits the moniker of Great Wise Beast. Oh, we're not high enough up. Send the next one up. Another turtle. We used it too soon. What's dying? I forget what gets killed automatically up here.
one more good hit. Don't greed. What it takes is two clean attacks off him and I'm dead. That could kill me. on the horse. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't think that counted. I've already explored these things and collected the things that were here. And again, we don't know... You'd think if they were that big, they would be easy to spot, but... Yes, the annoying one that throws the little discs. Uh, we already sweep this place. I just came back because I wanted to kill that thing. That is, kill something. Something to do for 10 minutes to not make the episode too short. Does that count as a second wise beast? I gotta imagine no. know. Maybe it's the dragons? There are three of them up there. But then why have one gigantic um, turtle on the side of the cliff? And we've wasted enough extra time. Let's head on back over to here and then exit out and call it a show. Because we can't very well have a screenshot down here, we won't have the Earth Tree in the background. Maybe that red wolf was something to do with it, and it's just the fact we still need to find the third one. 
Look at it. We want to be over there. Think of all the ice spells. Think of the ice weapons that are actually over there and therefore fit our build. We're going there eventually. We have to get through this, I think. Look how much of the map there's still left. Not all of it's going to have stuff on it, mind, but still. Anyway, the earth tree's over there. Oh, this is going to be cause of the bomb because of the room bear. Can we get that? Maybe. Maybe we head up top. Maybe we don't. Anyway, we'll end there. I'll find a good place for a screenshot later. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, tomorrow's going to be more Hard Space Shipbreakers. Nice relaxing game most of the time. So hopefully I'll see you for that. If not, we'll be back again on Monday. So thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio.